Welcome back to Flora on Food. It has been a little while because we have been busy finishing off our van conversion. And now this episode, it will be the first time that we cook in our new kitchen unit. So let's see how it goes. Earlier on in August, we went Wimbry picking on the Stiper Stones. And today I'd like to show you how to cook Wimbry Scotch pancakes. So the ingredients you will need for this recipe 160 grams of self-raising flour, 40 grams of caster sugar, a pinch of salt, two eggs, 200 milliliters of milk, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a large handful of Wimberries. To cook the pancakes, you'll need a knob of butter and some vegetable oil. My serving suggestion, maple syrup. So our first step is to add all our dry ingredients into a bowl. So we've got our self-raising flour. Pinch of salt. Sugar. And cinnamon. And then next, all the wet ingredients into a mug. So there goes the milk. And two eggs. So mix the eggs and milk together. So next step is to make a well in the dry ingredients bowl. And now add your egg and milk to the dry ingredients. And then we've got to make sure it's really well incorporated and thoroughly mixed and we don't want any lumps. So it should be a thick but pourable batter. So I'm now going to add the Wimbries to the pancake batter. These have been frozen, uh, so the colour will come out of them a lot more than what it would do if they were fresh. So you can see that there's some juice in the bottom as well. So that's going to turn them bright pink and purple. So let's light the cooker and we want this on a medium heat. Adding a little bit of vegetable oil so I'm going to add a knob of butter to the warm pan The oil will stop the butter from burning. Uh, that's one of your chefy tips for you. And now we're going to add a small ladleful of our pancake mixture. I'm going to put two in the pan and hope they don't move too much. They need about two to three minutes on each side and when they're golden on the other side you need to give them a flip over and the same time on the other side. Our last pancake is in the pan cooking so I'm just going to make a really quick Wimbry compote with the leftover Wimbrys that we've got. So. There's a little bit of moisture in there and I'm going to add about two teaspoons of caster sugar and then I'm just going to add a little dash of water, not a huge amount, just to make like a syrupy stock, just like that. And then I'm going to put that on a high heat and it'll all reduce down and make a Wimbry syrup. So 
for now for the plating up. The Wimbury harvest used to be very important back in the day, especially for rural communities. Kids used to take time off school to go and pick these Wimberries to sell on local markets. But as for the recipe, this one's simple. Get the kids involved, go picking, and then cook them up in your van or your caravan or your tent. Very simple recipe, and it can keep the family happy too. Thanks again for joining us on Flora on Food. If you like what you've seen today, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to know more or can suggest a recipe or something that you'd like to see me do, stick that in the comment section below. But have a very nice day otherwise.